Hello everyone and welcome again to the Johnny Appleseed Organic Village. I'm here today with Shani McCabe from Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds and we're going to plant watermelons. A fun fact about me is that I grew up in southwest Arkansas near Hope where in fact we do grow watermelons. In addition to having given the world Bill Clinton, we also give it delicious fruit. What we don't do is grow this many varieties. Um, so I think a good way to start this video is probably to walk through the varieties and then talk about what they need to grow. Absolutely. So um, we do have an incredible array of watermelon here. They're in fact in existence. There are so many different colors and flavors of watermelon. But uh, today we are planting a variety called Orange Glow that can grow reliably up to zone four. It's got orange flesh. It's delicious, kind of has a citrusy flavor. We've got Alibaba. My sister grows this all the way up in Rhode Island, super reliably. It's got one of the sweetest flesh I've ever had. Um, we've got Clay County orange meat or Clay County yellow meat. And that variety is from Alabama, gonna grow really reliably down here in Georgia. And I love the yellow fleshed watermelons. And then we've got the Georgia rattlesnake. So super appropriate for our farm here at Johnny Appleseed. Um, gonna grow very, very well in this uh, region. And it's a super large watermelon. Awesome. You can probably see that we've already germinated one here. Um, a little bit in advance of filming this video. Do you want to explain why we did that and what people should take note of here? Right. So we started our watermelons a few days ago. They've already popped up. Um, basically, my recipe for success when planting watermelons is to make um, small hills and plant three seeds per hill. Um, general rule of thumb is to sow the seeds about twice as deep as the seed is large. And I put about three in there just to ensure that I get good germination and then I'll thin to the very strongest plant. Um, I make sure that my hills are three feet apart and that my rows are six feet apart. Watermelons love plenty of space for their long vines to ramble. They also like consistent water as they're growing and in their vegetative leafy growing stage. So we're gonna make sure that our irrigation is set up and that we're ready to give them consistent moisture. Uh, later on in their growing cycle, when they're forming fruit, we're going to cut back on the water, but we'll talk about that in a later video. Um, we also make sure to put down a nice layer of mulch to ensure that our weeds are suppressed. You don't wanna to have to go trouncing out into the watermelon patch while the vines are rambling along the ground to try to pull weeds because you can step on the vines or even knock off some fruit. So make sure to plant your hills three feet apart, your rows six feet apart, get your irrigation set and your mulch laid down. A final note that I wanna make is a lot of people wonder if they can grow watermelons in containers. And yes, it is possible. The very best variety for growing in pots or containers or raised beds is a variety called Sugar Baby Bush Watermelon. It has shorter, more compact vines and smaller fruit. And um, so it is possible to grow in containers. I get that question all the time. But um, for this field situation, we've got a great, we are set up for success. We've already got germination going. And I suppose we'll, we'll sow a few seeds just to really show the technique, but following those rules, growers should have no problem. Awesome. So we always plant three seeds per hill. One, two, three, we plant them about twice as deep as the seed is big or about one inch deep. Now we're gonna make sure that our plants stay well watered as they start to develop. Uh, they're very water hungry when they're starting to grow, when they're in their vegetative state. By the time they start fruiting, we're gonna cut back the water a little bit, but we'll talk about that more in the next episode. So mulch is essential for watermelons for a few reasons. First of all, if we are growing in the north, we're going to have cool weather and watermelons really like it warm. So a layer of black plastic mulch to warm the soil or some straw mulch is going to be essential just to get the soil evenly warm and keep the seeds really happy. Um, most importantly for all locations, mulch is going to help keep weed pressure down because once your watermelon vines start to ramble along the ground, it's going to be very difficult to enter the watermelon patch to do any kind of weeding. It's easy to knock off fruit off the vines or to destroy the vines while walking amongst them. So we put down a nice thick layer of straw mulch, whatever kind of mulch we have to keep weeds down so the vines can freely ramble and make nice clean fruit. So we've planted our watermelon seeds. We know they're going to be coming up right here in the center of the hill and we're just going to surround the hill with a nice layer of, we've got clean hay here. We've got no weed seed in this hay. We're going to surround the hill with a nice layer of clean hay. Again, northern growers are going to try something like black plastic to warm the soil. 
whatever you use, just be sure to put down a nice layer of mulch to keep the weeds out so the vines can ramble freely. Another great reason to apply mulch is to keep the soil moisture more consistent. Watermelons, as they are developing in their vegetative stage, i.e. when they're making long green vines, they like consistent moisture, they like water. Once they're ripening off, they don't like as much water, but we will talk about that in the next episode. Thank you guys for joining us for this video on how to start your watermelon in spring. I hope you learned a lot. If you liked what you saw, please subscribe to the Johnny Appleseed Organic YouTube page. Check us out on Instagram. Uh, you can find Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds on Facebook, on Instagram. We are on YouTube with a channel called Rare Seeds. And of course, we have our website, which is rareseeds.com. And be sure to check back later in the season as we eventually harvest the watermelons that we're going to grow. Unlike the other videos, we probably won't cook anything with them but I think we can at least enjoy them and make you very jealous. Yeah, we can have a good old fashioned watermelon seed spitting competition. I will be behind the camera for that, not in front of it. And I'll probably win. Thank you guys for joining us. Thank you.